I finally saw Sorry to Bother You. Mm. <laughs> um, that movie is fucking amazing. I thought you were going to say stupid. Up, up until oh, the, oh. Last <laughs> the last 15, 15 minutes or so. Heartbroken. It just... Dude. Okay. I love the concept of the movie. And I like kind of the message it's trying to give you. Like, you know, basically saying nothing comes easy in life. There's always a price to pay. And sometimes you have to eat shit to get what you want. And I, I'm all for that. It's a great message yeah. to give people. And they could have successfully given that message without the last 10 minutes or so or 15 minutes or so of that movie. It fucking falls apart and feels like um, the people who were writing it or, or producing it or, or directing it had a bad batch of acid when they were finishing the script or the storyboards. I have a theory on why it's like that. You guys have both seen this movie? Yeah. yeah. I'll let you guys chat. It, dude, it just, like, <laughs> it's so, so fucking good. Even, even when the twist thing happens, even then, it's like, oh, this is a different kind of movie. Oh, shit. Okay. But the, but then it keeps going. And it's just too Sorry much. Sorry to bother you. Yeah. It's not, I, did, I, I was loving it. I, I thought it was great. I thought the writing was great. I thought the acting was great. Like I said, I really yeah. enjoyed the story they were trying to tell. Like, and they were a little too like ham fisted with the sometimes you have to eat shit to get get out of where you are or get where you need to be. It's like to the point where even when the girlfriend is doing the art show, <laughs> like I was like, you didn't have to go that far to prove your point. I already got it. I already got your point. And then. Like, there's zero, like, again, they were, whatever, like, they, it's a throwaway fucking line, like, oh, we were broken up, but it's like, yeah, but you just fucked some other dude, and then there's zero consequence from the lead character to that person, mm -hmm. and, and then I was like, okay, sometimes you've got to eat shit to move forward, that's fine, I, I can maybe even accept that, but, like, they just go on like it never even happened. Yeah, you know, I didn't... Yeah, I didn't... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you kind of, like... It's been a while since I've watched it, but yeah. <laughs> that came out last year, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, Weren't we all kind of excited by the trailer? Yeah. Yeah. It was really well, good. You know, what was the movie where we watched the trailer? This might be my new favorite off-camera spot, by the way. It's kind of interesting. <laughs> it's a different perspective. I've seen you guys from the side. You're going to have by to the set way, the camera over there. The camera over yeah, there. Yeah, I know. I'm going to... I just want Rick to make sure he sees his compliment. Ash says, Rick, that your hair is looking especially John Wick today. See? Oh, wow. Now I'm not going to cut my hair today. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Uh, I was going to cut my hair today. I'm not doing it now. It's kind of funny. <laughs> I was feeling a little sad a little bit because we started the show. Here, I'll let people see you. Come on. Sit down. Yeah, I sit started, down. I started the we started the show. We were talking like it's the anniversary show and all this stuff. You know, again, just eighth anniversary. And no one was in the chat. And I'm just like, man, fucking no one loves us this like this week at all. And then I don't want to mention it because I don't want to be that person. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm just like, oh. But you did. No one's in the chat. <laughs> no, but I mean, I don't oh, want to yeah, be yeah. like, hey, why is no one watching us? But then all of a sudden, it was like after we started talking about our bullshit, there was like Cheesy was here. Ash was here. Uh. Cornelius Crisco uh, has joined us. Is he a subscriber? Follower? Follower? Whatever. Can't people subscribe to us now, though? No, I haven't set it up yet. Rick, we could be making money this <laughs> week. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Um, but, uh, yeah. What was the movie that you saw last year? We all watched the trailer. And, like, after you saw it, you're like, you guys need to go fucking see this movie. And I... I, I was that one? Was I it, it was Sorry to Bother You? Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's what, like, I, yeah, I always mix, I always mix, like, I mix that up with, like, Black Klansman. Like, I, I mix That's another up. good one. Yeah. yeah. But, but so, Sorry to Bother You is so fucking weird, yeah, trippy, and so good. good. Like, I love the style. Like, when he the first starts amazing. working at yeah. the telemarketing thing, like, the very first scene of him working at the telemarketing thing, like, mm -hmm. has him, like, crashing through ceilings and, like, and then it's him in the living room yeah. with the person he's on the phone with talking to, like, Style beyond style, like it's refreshing. Yeah, it it felt. I was like, man. I mean, that's like, yeah, this is. And then the fucking horse people thing happens, and even then we were like, okay, there's got to be a whole lot more movie after this. And then it's literally like ten or fifteen more minutes after the 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 thing happens, and then it just ends very unsatisfying. 
Like, unsatisfied. Did you feel that way? Um, or different? N- no, I still love the movie. Stick to your guns. I want to yeah. fight. No, I still fight. loved the movie. And I think the reason they went that way towards the end was because how how serious, technically how serious and hard this movie hit. It's it's a home. movie about modern day slavery. Yeah. Like, and that's what it is. Yeah. And I think they needed that comedy break at the end. There was enough comedy with it was, Danny Glover. There was enough comedy with the lead actor whose name I'm skipping on right now. There's enough comedy with Terry Crews. They didn't have to have fucking CG fucking horse people. Why don't you just spoil it? Because it's, yeah, it it makes the, the movie bad. It makes it bad. I, I disagree wholeheartedly. Horse people fight see, about. It. Why now do he want to see it? Now he wants to see it. Why do you disagree? I want to know. Just because I think it was just a, such an out of the box, as already out of the box a style of movie it was. It just fit. Okay, so even if they would have stopped or with and didn't go further with it after. Uh, the fight and and the riot and stuff like that. Even there, like if the movie would have just ended there, it'd have been great. But they went too far. Oh, so you had no problem with that? No, no, because uh, well, it did felt... you have a problem because of what happened to the main character? N- not because of what happened to him, but because they didn't need to go there. Oh, it didn't. Okay, it, okay. It's not. It's not now. because a thing happened to him. It, the thing didn't need to happen to him. Like he had already, that is true. he already had his redemptive okay. arc. No, he had, I want he, you guys he to had fight. already, he had already gone to the other side. He had already eaten the shit of his girlfriend, yeah. banging some other fucking okay. dude. I thought, I thought you were dismissing being everything. About no, the horse no, it just went okay. too fucking far. So you like the horse people? Okay, yeah. I thought, okay, it okay. Didn't, I thought you did not like that. No, no, no. Okay. It just, I, it made me not like it because of how far it went. Okay, what went too far? If that's the ending, right? Yes. Yeah. The little, like, at yeah. the end. Okay, yeah. then, yeah, we can't talk about that. Do you agree with him? It didn't need to be there. He had his redemptive arc. He had already right. eaten the shit he needed to eat. He had already moved on. He had already gone forward true, and true, gotten true, past true, true, true. everything. But at the same time, like, I thought that was, like, a little, like, sprinkle joke at the end, which I, I but, thought was fine. But when you're trying... Did it need to be there? When you're trying to fucking hammer home a message... About like a serious message about how wrong the shit is that's going on. You don't end with a <laughs> and that was a cheap fucking joke and a cheap thing at the end that really soured me on the whole movie because Don't back of it. down, Rick. Don't back down. I'm not siding with him. I just know Rick will turn over and I don't want no. him to. What is that? Wait, what? Dude, <laughs> you just called you a fucking bitch. <laughs> go, go. Don't take that but shit, Mike. Listen, Rick. Okay, no, listen, okay. Rick, Rick. I can understand. I hope you're having a good day. And I hope you have a better week. <laughs> and I hope your year is fantastic. But you're wrong, and it went too far. Come on, Rick. Uh, I hope you win the lottery as soon as you leave this fucking room. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing a bit from the movie. Yeah. <laughs> But I really enjoyed almost... I can understand where you're coming from. 90% of the movie, man. But I don't agree. Go for the throw. That's fine. You don't have to agree. Um, Go for the throw. Tell them why you don't agree. Because, like, I could could see, like, yeah, they could have totally, you know, pushed that out the door and just ended the way, like, it ended without the little... Even with the talking to Terry Crews at the end, and it really is just that bit at the very, very end that bothered me. Because I didn't feel like it needed to be there. Wait, talking to Terry Crews? When the right, right, right before, no, right before they go inside the apartment or whatever. Or we're not talking. Oh, yeah. oh, right, right, right. Right okay, at the okay. very end. Like, right at the very all end. All that okay. stuff. And it's like, it's even him realizing, like, yeah, you know, I was in the you wrong. Oh, I'm good. I, oh, okay. We're just doing it all together. You're, you're done? For now? He's not done with that beer. We still got the Mojang. Saying. Yeah. Okay. That's why. Okay. Um, but yeah, I, I, I yeah, I don't, I don't uh, know. I, I thought the movie was was great the way it is. I I just wish that last. But I can bit see where you're coming there. from. That if that wasn't there, yeah, maybe. And even if that last but. bit was there, it didn't need to continue on like it did during the credits. <laughs> I really really liked that movie. I'm so glad you liked it though. Yeah, it was so and like, it was like very I said, the acting was so good, especially it, with the big company kind of and, pretty much reflecting what Amazon is. And it was it was um topical. Yeah. Without feeling like they sat down in a room and were like, "How can we speak about consumerism and politics?" Yeah, like, without it, shoving it down your throat. Right. Yeah. It didn't. It didn't. You know what I mean? Like most stories like that end up being 
Well, we have a fucking message to tell you because of what's going on right now. Exactly. But yeah. it didn't feel that way. That's it, why I really love the movie. It was so well too. done, man. It's and I, I definitely recommend going out and seeing it. But see it the way I saw it and rent it for a fucking dollar at Redbox. You guys or if it's on Netflix, Netflix. But I think the movie's fine just the way it is. Yeah. Okay. Then expand on that. You guys are he getting did. No, he did. he did. He did. I know, but I, just, well, I, mean, I wanted I you guys convince. to get a little bit more violent towards each other. I like mean, I still love each I've other. I already have a beer. I'm not. You know, when I drink, I, I don't get violent. I get happy. So yeah, we're all. You have a fantastic <laughs> fucking day, dude. I hope your podcast takes off and wins that kind of funny contest. I'm All sitting right, here not fucker. understanding these jokes because I haven't seen the movie. You saw the trailer, though. It's in the trailer. I don't remember. It's yeah. been a while. We watch a lot of trailers on the show. I know. Show. Where are you going? What are you doing? What's happening? Clean my hands. Okay. Okay. Are you, like, leaving us? <laughs> oh, it's right there. Oh, you're you can't ask tissue. me to get it for you. Yeah. yeah. Like, what are you doing? Rick, you're sit ruining the fuck the whole down. S- mm. Before, you know, I just want everyone... I'm going to get more I know, hold on, wait. I want everybody to know that before we go live on Twitch, before we go live on Twitch, Rick is abusive to Mike and I. <laughs> he's trying to set up the camera, and he's like, hey, asshole, sit down. To, to me. Yeah. And then he says to he goes to Mike, hey, hey, you bitch, sit down. And Mike's like, what the hell? <coughs> well, this is what happens. Yeah. And then Rick right now has the audacity to just to get walk up. behind the he shot. He just walks off. <clears throat> I just want people to know, Rick is... He's not as sweet he hurts, and nice as he... <laughs> Rick hurts us. All right. It's all that, lies. <laughs> yeah, that went on longer than I wanted it to, but please cut that and put that up because that was a good conversation. I was pushing yeah, it. You know I what? Because because the last two times we've been on here, I've been <laughs> the one that's gotten, but like, I got in a, a debate with him about the Oscars. Yeah. I went fucking crazy during the top five stuff, so I was trying to, to make you guys yeah. get a little heated. All in all, I really enjoyed that movie up until the end, man. Like, even like their fake TV shows and... How it's 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 literally poking at fun at modern day reality TV by basically telling you these people that are on reality TV are basically going on television and getting the shit mm-hmm. kicked out of them for their five minutes of fame. And like the way they do it is super clever and really funny and really well done. And again, you part watch of it. like Part of that is him literally going on this show and eating shit so he can tell the story that he's trying to tell mm-hmm. to the, the masses and then it not even affecting anything. Like, it's it's such a good-ass movie, man. And I feel like, like I feel almost as strongly about this as I do as... This is a way jump on topic, so stick with me here. And you, get, you know where I'm going. As I do about 50 First Dates. That movie is <laughs> almost perfect. Until the very end. The oh, very, so, so that's very what the ending's like. end. This Not, movie okay, is almost it. perfect until the very, very end. For me. And I know all this is subjective. Yeah. Because I never and I know, decided with you on that. I know I like to get angry and pass off my shit as objective. <laughs> so I know <laughs> that's me. I get it. But it, it's that's how I feel. All right. 